Good morning, crypto fam. So today we are going to be going over the latest addition to the uh, Metal and uh, Proton ecosystem, which is going to be the Metal blockchain. So the Metal blockchain is pretty much the next generation of blockchains. Metal blockchain is ticker symbol Metal, M-E-T-A-L, and is a layer zero blockchain. So what exactly is a layer zero? So we all know that blockchains are highly efficient peer-to-peer -peer networks. So let's go ahead and talk really quick about layer zero before we go on. All right, so I'm gonna try to explain this as simplistically as possible. So let's say you have some files. Let's say these files are on HBAR and let's say you wanna send them over to Proton. Well, with a layer zero, it would actually allow you to do just that. So you would be able to send things seamlessly between other L1s. You would be able to send your files from um, HBAR to Proton and then from Proton to Solana or to like an Ethereum and other L1s like that. So that's what the um, um, layer zero would allow you to pretty much do. So Metal Blockchain, as we've spoken on, is a layer zero. Uh, the consensus pretty much will run across the entire network allowing other l1 solutions to integrate as i just mentioned before so um layer zero actually runs consensus across all l1s involved and um metal has the capability to actually create a safe cross chain bridge solution making it highly secure so we wouldn't see any issues kind of like what we've seen recently a few days ago with the um, nomad bridge exploit and um we'd pretty much be safe from things like that so that's pretty much the uh, layer zero with a uh, metal blockchain and stuff in a very, very, very tight knit nutshell. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it, but I'd have to do like a whole separate video on that. Um, so Proton layer one. So let's go ahead and talk about Proton. So Proton's part in some of this would be Proton is going to be hosting a highly secured decentralized identification system, which it currently already has with the uh, web off wallet. And then we'll also have um, multiple projects continuing to build on um, Proton. So there's just multiple projects still continuing to build on top of Proton as a L1. And we also have a secure DEX, which is still in the works and coming guys. So very, very excited for that. We have a secure DEX in the works. And then there's also zero gas fees on Proton. So unlike Ethereum, um, we wouldn't have to worry about gas fees on Proton. So this ecosystem is really, really starting to come together and things are just super awesome. And then on top of that, we also have the Swift 4000 TPS capabilities. Uh, TPS, for those of you who don't know, stand for uh, transactions per second. So Proton can handle a lot of transactions, guys. So um, it's just awesome to see all of this come together. So let's go ahead and kind of look down over here and see what we have down here. We have Bitcoin, which is layer one. We have Ethereum layer one. All right, and now we have Matic. Let's touch down on layer twos real quick. I'm not gonna go into like layer threes and whatnot. But um, so we have Matic right now. Matic is a side chain, which is currently used. And um, side chains can be used by some to solve external scaling issues on native chains. So the only problem with uh, layer twos is currently only truly they operate on the um, chain that they were specifically designed for. So Matic was specifically designed for Ethereum to help Ethereum scale. So that's all it's going to really help with right now. So um, that's pretty much everything like kind of like broken down in a nutshell. Like I'm not sure if this helps out anybody, but anyways, guys, let's continue on with the video. I just wanted to get, go ahead and put this out here. Maybe this clicks in someone's head. Um, if you guys have any other questions, definitely ask them in the comment section below because I'd be able to answer those questions. So maybe that'll kind of um, speed things up and help people out with understanding what's going on here. But anyways, guys, let's continue on. So Metal Blockchain allows any pretty much chain to go ahead and deploy and find consensus through the SNOW protocol, which we'll be talking about here in a minute allowing it to run on a highly efficient model of POS, proof of um, stake, eliminating the need for proof of work, which is POW. So uh, what exactly is Snowman Consensus Protocol? So this is under Avalanche. So Snowman is a chain optimized consensus protocol with high throughput, totally ordered and great for smart contracts. The Snowman is powered by Avalanche, the consensus protocol, both the platform chain and the cha um, contract chain implement the Snowman Consensus Protocol. 
so that's that right there and then we'll also talk about um eos guys if you guys want to go ahead and look into uh eos because this is kind of lengthy you guys can go ahead and do so at the uh developers website i'll go ahead and put the links to both of these in the description so you guys can kind of read up on them yourselves uh directly from the source so i'll put that in there but um eos is pretty much a uh, blockchain that is highly efficient and a deterministic distributed state machine that can actually operate in a decentralized fashion. And um, that's all I'll say about that. If you guys wanna read up on this, I definitely recommend you do. But uh, before I go any further into this video, I'm not a financial advisor. None of the stuff that I'm putting out here is financial advice. But um, let's go ahead and go back to the um, Metal Blockchain site. So looking at Metal Blockchain, we have the consensus, as we said before, Avalanche, Snowman, and EOS. Uh, we have the transaction speed, which is 4,500 plus transaction per second TPS. And then we have time to, final, uh, time to finality, which is um, 0 .05, uh, 0 0.5 seconds. And then we also have um, coin supply, which is shown here. And we have the initial circulating supply. And then down here, it goes into a uh, sub chain. So we have proton chain, which is chain A. We have the uh, EVM, which is uh, C chain. We have stake, which is P chain. And we have exchange, which is X chain. So if you guys want to check this site out, I will definitely have the site in the description below. But let's go ahead and check out their white paper. I meant light paper. So let's go ahead and check out the light paper. So the second page here is the abstract, which pretty much goes over what we were just talking about, but in a little bit more detail. So if you guys want to read up on that, I definitely recommend you do so. Um, let's go ahead and check out this page though, because this is the tokenomics and I'm pretty sure a lot of you want to hear more on that. So we have the tokenomics for metal and metal is hard cap supply of uh, 666 million with a whole bunch of other sixes following behind that. Uh, the Genesis block will have 333 million with a whole bunch of threes following behind that and uh, coins in circulation at launch, of which a maximum of uh, 133 million with a whole bunch of uh, ones and sevens and one six following behind that can be generated from uh, Metal Genesis. Uh, there's 71 million metal granted to founders vested over 12 months and uh, 144 million uh, metal which is going to be granted to the foundation. So similar to Avalanche and Proton, resources spent by a validator for staking are proportional to the validator's total stake. Rewards accumulated by valid uh, validators are proportional to their total stake. So uh, fees are burned, decreasing supply over time. Validators locking their stake for long periods of time are rewarded proportionately. Additionally, validators are incentivized to stay online and operate correctly through proof of uptime and proof of correctness pioneered in Avalanche. Really quick, one thing that I'm noticing with Proton that I feel like is happening, it may not be, but um, I'm noticing that like all these features from other chains, like all these great features are being brought all into one area and Proton's pretty much just taking all the great features from every single chain, as well as just taking features that haven't even uh, been implemented on any chains that need to be implemented and like different things and just all bundling them all into one specific ecosystem. So um, Proton and uh, Metal and all that. So I didn't want to just say Proton. But um, anyways, guys, I, I don't know. I'm rambling. But uh, anyways, we have the uh, governance. The governance. The uh, Metal ecosystem has two separate governance digital assets. One for greater multi-blockchain ecosystem governance, the MTL token, and one specifically for Metal Blockchain, Metal Coin. So the governance for Metal Blockchain is formed around Metal, Metal Blockchain. So governance for the metal ecosystem is formed around MTL, metal dollar and metal euro. Stake fees, um, transaction costs and emission rates are all governed by metal and can be actually decided on the um, by the network. The uh, minimum amount of metal required to stake to become a validator is 2000 metal. The minimum amount of time needed for a node to stake in the network is uh, two weeks with the uh, maximum amount of uh, 52 weeks. So that goes ahead and uh, pretty much clears that up for um, those of you who are wondering about the difference between MTL and uh, Metal. 
and uh, the metal dollar and whatnot. So um, that's that right there with the governance. Let's go ahead and check out the next page here, which would actually be the uh, fee structure of all of this. So fees are not returned to validators. Rather, they are actually burned. This creates a deflationary measure um, to metal. So validators are actually incentivized by the uh, emission structure of metal, which is set to release the uh, 333 million 3333 metal tokens on a sliding scale which becomes increasingly scarce over a long period of time so that's a deflationary factor there's also an inflationary factor but this is actually hard capped through a maximum of the uh 666 666 uh metal uh, coins that will ever exist the formula is as follows so here's the formula right here. And if you guys want to look into this, I definitely recommend you do so. Um, personally, I always make sure I look through uh, light papers, white papers, roadmaps, just anything of that sort. Um, as I've said before, none of this financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I just wanted to bring that up there. But uh, anyways, guys, if you guys aren't already following uh, Metal Blockchain on Twitter, here is their Twitter page. They definitely need to get their followers up, guys. There's, I know there's way more of you guys out there than just uh, 562. So definitely go ahead and follow Metal Blockchain on Twitter. And um, you guys can also go ahead and follow uh, Proton on Twitter right here if you guys aren't doing that. And Metal Pay as well as myself. You can definitely go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. But let's go back here and talk about... Um, Proton swap really quick because we actually have a uh, metal on Proton swap. Shout out to uh, Daniel for actually bringing this up to my attention because I had checked it like a day or two ago and uh, I didn't see anything on there. Maybe I like overlooked, but um, he had brought up to me that you can actually have um, metal on um, farm, so you can actually yield farm metal and get eight hundred and eight percent apr so far um, i think when you messaged me it was like a thousand or something percent guys so um definitely don't miss out on the opportunity to look into that because um that's a lot of uh, apr right there <laughs> so you can definitely um make some uh, nice little penny but uh anyways guys that's all i've got for today's video if you guys like my content definitely look into subscribing if you guys have any questions or um comments or anything like that leave them in the comment section below and i will definitely get back to you as soon as possible but um anyways guys that's all i've got for today's video see you in the next one